So car wrecks, I mean, it's something, uh, well, we've all been there pretty much. If you've driven for a long time and you've never been in one, you are one great driver or really lucky or both. Actually, it would be both. So insurance costs for automobiles have been going way up. I took a question about this recently on the podcast, and I explained about all the electronics and cars and what they've done. And I saw a AAA thing that one-third of the cost of repairing things now in cars is because of the sensors and cameras that are now embedded all different places in vehicles. And this is also why so many vehicles in the past would not have been totaled now are. I'm thinking about the, there were two cars in each accident, and one of them was an older car. I mean, it's absolutely going to be totaled. There's not even a doubt in my mind, even though the damage visually was so minor, that when the adjuster comes, uh, he or she's going to say, nope, this one's done. This one's toast. Because typically the auto insures 70% damage uh, 70% versus the value of the vehicle. At that point, they just total it out because once a repair starts, there's always other things that are found and they don't want to end up in a situation where they're paying more than what the vehicle's worth to repair it. And so this has all changed the equation. And the question I had most recently was about, should I buy an extended warranty on a vehicle because of all the electronics. And this is tough stuff to decide on, particularly because there are so many snakes in the grass in the car warranty business. And if you're in a car still under manufacturer's warranty, and before that manufacturer's warranty, you've got an opportunity to buy an extension of it from the manufacturer, and you're planning to keep the vehicle moving forward I'm completely neutral, but it's fine with me if you want to buy that. So I don't like you buying it up front because you may get a vehicle and for whatever reason, uh, you don't keep that vehicle and you've already bought this extension of a warranty that you never get a chance to use because you're still under the manufacturers at the time that, uh, well, let's go negative, your vehicle stolen, not recovered. Uh, it's in a wreck and not repairable, all those things. So with a manufacturer's extension, as long as you buy it while the manufacturer's warranty is still in play, with almost all brands, you can buy that extension at that time. And if the vehicles prove to be ultimately, I mean, extremely reliable, then you probably wouldn't want to buy it even then. Because again, the payoff on these warranties isn't great. You know, what you pay for them versus what you get back. But if you have a big electronics item go bad on you, then at that point it's going to feel like, wow, this is great. I got this. I'm not having to lay out 3000 or $4,000 for this, that, or the other. And you hear how wishy-washy I am on this? You hear it? Why am I so wishy-washy? Okay, every other kind of extended warranty you always hear me say, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. Why am I in this wishy-washy state about cars? Because you have to have your car to get to work. I mean, you got to. You don't have it, you can't get to work. You can't earn a living. Most people cannot afford a giant repair if one comes out of nowhere. Transmission croaks, the engine croaks, whatever, you're out of warranty. So that's why if your financial situation would not allow you to deal with that kind of Armageddon, buying an extension of the manufacturer's own warranty, I can see it. It would make sense. And what have I said now seven times? Manufacturer's own. You don't buy from third parties. Why? 
because the third parties have proven to be unbelievably unreliable or crooked or even vanish in the night. So the dealer is always going to push the third party paper because the way it's marketed to them is if they sell the manufacturer's own, they get a teensy tiny commission. But if they sell the third party paper, they make a gigantic commission. And they don't care if it doesn't help you, but it sure is helping them. So that's why if you want one, buy the manufacturer's own. And with your car you've got, know that an amazingly minor accident where the good thing is no one's hurt can still leave your wallet hurt because so often that vehicle will be totaled when you're looking, huh? There was almost nothing wrong with it. And it still gets totaled out. Uh, by the way, your little mishap with your mirror, mm -hmm. how much was that repair? Um, I think it was about $500. Five hundred dollars, and it was just the casing. No, it, it, they end up replacing the whole mirror because it's like, and it's an electronic, you know. Because it was all one unit. Yeah. Because it looked like all it was missing was the, uh, would you call it the sheet? Yeah, the, that's what they thought, but then the mirror had it wasn't moving properly. So, thanks for that reminder. <laughs> <laughs>